going? Good. Good, good. You ready for today? Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's take a seat. Session number three? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Every time Santana Longneck Cooliner sits in this chair, she gets to see her tattoo fade away a bit more. The bandana tattoo is an unwanted reminder of her time in a gang over a decade ago. I thought it would be cool to put it on my body, to have it to be a symbol, to be recognized, um, to be known that I was a part of that gang. Eventually, Long Neck Kuliner left the gang to escape the violence. I want better for my children, and I didn't want to give them the example of that, to see their mother as a gangster or, you know, a woman to be affiliated with any type of gang members or still have involvement in that life. Want to go over any of the aftercare instructions? Long Neck Kuliner says getting her tattoo removed feels like getting her body back, and what could cost her thousands of dollars is being done for free by Straight Up an organization that helps get people out of gangs and on with life. People who in the past were um, scratching them off or trying to remove them in other ways because they had no other means now can come and get it done. Hey Devin. Hello. How's it going? It's good. Devin Napope got his tattoos in prison about 15 years ago. You ready? He left the gang a few years later and yet... I'm going in for an interview. You know, I already have to worry about my skin color, you know. And then on top of that, I got to think about the tattoos and the, the stigma that goes with them. Start with a test shot. Napope says Straight Up's tattoo removal program is giving him a fresh start. I'm able to be me. It's a resurgence in my, like, uh, in my who I am. So it kind of gave me the opportunity to figure out who I am and understand what I really want for myself now instead of uh, looking at reminders of the past. Straight Up got the tattoo removal laser earlier this year through funds from the province's gang violence okay. reduction strategy. Good job. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News. Perfect. Saskatoon. How's that feel? Good.